Hello, video platforms out there and video watchers. This is Jordan White. Now, I wasn't even expecting to make this video. I did not know I was going to make this video, and then, uh, then something happened, and then I realized, now oh, I'm going to have to make this video. You see, I managed to pull off a project that came about through an unexpected turn of events, and in this video, I'm going to tell you first the history behind the project, and second, why I did. Now first, let's go on to the history of this project. In 2014, Marvel Studios, under the ownership of the Walt Disney Company, released a film called Guardians of the Galaxy. Based on a rather obscure C-level Marvel comic, the film became a critical and box office sensation largely due to the Marvel name. It was praised for being funnier than most Marvel movies, its space opera story gets right, and most important, its retro soundtrack, all coming from a cassette tape on a Walkman. The lead character, Star-Lord, played by Chris Pratt, listened to his Walkman as a reminder of not only Earth, but also a reminder of his mother from Earth who gave him the cassette tapes he listens to in the film. Kids may not realize this upon first viewing the movie, but the Walkman was actually a real thing, and so was the cassette tapes. Played by Japanese electronics company Sony, the Walkman revolutionized listening to music on the go when it was first released in 1979 and became a hot staple among music fans in the 1980s. Then came the CD in the 1990s, then MP3s in the 2000s, then iTunes digital downloads in the early 2010s, and now it's all about music streaming. So it would seem that cassette tapes have gone the way of the dinosaur, but in reality, like vinyl, they are carving a niche for music lovers. Matter of fact, cassette tape sales were up 23% in the United States last year and grew quietly by 136% in 2017. I would not be too surprised if Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the many factors driving this comeback. Aside from the usual scenery changes and, and upgrading my apartment and being able to live more independently and get myself a brand new job over those past several years, on Christmas Eve 2018, I got an unexpected gift that started me on this project. Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Volume 1 and Volume 2 on cassette tape. How cool is that? And not only that, but I also got uh, this thing. Uh, it's uh, like a USB to cassette converter. However, I attempted to film a couple of footage with uh, trying to give give this second photo to myself, just dress up like Santa Claus as if I was trying to attend that for another video, which I did, was, but um, but in the process, the stop button fell off. You see that? And uh, since the stop button fell off, I wanted to get another one of these, and I ended up getting this. However. While this managed to work better and much more effectively, it soon started to break on the playback speed. So, um, so I ended up getting two defective cassette players that convert, I was able to convert it to USB. And I'm, t and uh, here's the explanation for uh, why these, um, well, yeah. Here the, here's basically the explanation for why these cassette players were ineffective. They were both made in China. So, uh, I had to go through the next best thing. Ordering a Walkman, a real Walkman from eBay. I found one in Atlanta, Georgia, which failed to ship to me over the course of almost two weeks. Then I found another in Knoxville, Tennessee, and that ended up shipping to me. The Knoxville, Tennessee seller worked way better than the Atlanta, Georgia seller. Even in the age of free two-day shipping of Amazon products, eBay still has a place in the world of e-commerce. So now, after almost three weeks of trying to get it, I finally got it, and now I'm ready to present to you. Drum roll, please. Introducing, after a prolonged retirement, 
now back from the dead, the Sony Walkman. Sorry, upside down. This particular model happens to be as old as me. Made in 1991. It's called the Sony Walkman WMFX10. Count down my fingers. Ten. Now, uh, it looks super fantastic because uh, it plays just at the right cassette speed. It has the right pitch. It's able to play all the songs on these cassette tapes. And as an extra bonus, it comes with the standard uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, and I'm I'm proud to actually have this. Oh, and it also does FM and AM radio. So if I wanted to understand what the traffic is going on in my hometown, I could just tune into this thing, even though I have a radio in my car. So, so yay me! I have the complete Star Lord experience, and. But I do want to take this a step further. Because I want to try to make my own mixtape. Just like they did in the movies. So, that will be a video for another time. So, stay tuned.